if you're a real if, if you're a real one like you say you is like the truth you'll come out and tell the truth <laughs> tell the truth buddy come on man i called you and told you listen i got this bread on the table man what are you doing what are you doing you not your own boss my dude advice from other guys in pbc they tell me, you know, um, be careful, make sure the deal is right. Uh, they tell me, make sure you don't get fucked. All in all, I have two companies, you know, that reach out to me that, you know, wanted to give me a stint. $25 million guaranteed. $25 million guaranteed upfront. So a real guy like myself, I call Spence. Hey, bro, look, listen, you know what I mean? I got this company that's willing to give us 25 million a piece, guaranteed. What's up, what you gonna do? He like 25 million, what about the back end? I'm like, dude, listen, if they make their money back, then we get 80, 20. You know what I mean? It's simple math. Let's go back to what Floyd Mayweather said October 7th. He told us the Spence and Crawford fight wasn't going to happen. That was enough for me. But for the Spence fans, the Spence cheerleaders, it wasn't enough for them not to blame Terrence Crawford. If this fight wasn't going to happen, they already made up their mind they're going to blame Terrence Crawford. All these YouTube channels, said Crawford was ducking. And if I was Tans Crawford, I wouldn't have came out with a video. I don't care what anybody thinks. I know the truth. And when he told the truth, what happened? People do not believe him. Am I supposed to believe a YouTube channel or someone with an avatar on Twitter over Rick Glazer, who's been in the boxing business for 32 years, and this is what he does? And over Floyd Mayweather, who's been boxing much longer than that. Rick Glazer said Terrence Crawford had two lawyers. The first lawyer, he couldn't make the fight, so Terrence Crawford got another one. The second lawyer told Terrence Crawford they are not trying to make the fight. And what Terrence Crawford told us yesterday, he told us a lot of things. Another thing Terrence Crawford brought up is some hedge fund, wait, oh wait two hedge fund companies want to pay him and Errol Spence $25 million to fight. And of course, the Spence retards do not listen well. They said if they offered Terrence Crawford $25 million, why did he go to the prime? Duh. He went to Black Prime to fight Avenesian. The $25 million was for him and Errol Spence. If he's not fighting Errol Spence, he's not gonna get the $25 million. Duh. Do you really think Bud Crawford is gonna get $25 million to fight Avenesian? Get real, use your head. Now, another thing Crawford exposed in his video is that Spence is not his own boss. Spence wasn't even at the negotiation table. Al Heyman told Spence, stay home. I'll call you when the fight's ready. Go ahead and feed your chickens. Now, does that sound like your own boss, the big fish? Someone needs to tell Al Heyman that Spence is the big fish because Al Heyman is treating Spence like a pack of sardines. I don't think either fighter is ducking. I think the problem is Al Heyman needs to get out of boxing. He is the one stopping these big fights. He stopped the Wilder Joshua fight. He's stopping the Davis Ryan Garcia fight. And he's stopping the Spence Crawford fight. And the only reason he let the saga continue between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder once Fury signed with Bob Arum is because he thought Deontay Wilder can beat Fury. Like Deontay Wilder told y'all, I was offered more money to fight Anthony Joshua for Undisputed. You're gonna tell me Wilder would've made more money fighting Fury for a second time than fighting Joshua for Undisputed, who is also the second biggest draw in boxing? Come on now. It's clear to see Al Heyman does not wanna work with anybody, he wants full control. And I heard one of these channels talking about Crawford is looking for a pimp. Well, the big fish already has a big pimp. Not just the big fish, Javante Davis, Deontay Wilder, 
All those guys on PBC are controlled by Al Heyman. Bottom line is this. Al Heyman tried to lowball Crawford out the fight. Spence wasn't there, so how can he tell you anything? I believe Crawford did everything he could have done to make the fight. Just everything was going against him. Didn't want the video to run too long, so I couldn't hit everything. But leave your thoughts in the comments below. Now, you Spence fanboys, if you come with a statement, come with facts. Not from a YouTube channel or the avatar you saw on Twitter. No goofy shit. Jay Beasy, I'm gone. No. I'm he can't be the boogeyman I'm a if, I'm, the if, I, if I'm if I'm if I'm chasing I'm the, him. I'm the dog with the division. I'm the boogeyman. You can't be the Everybody boogeyman knows. if I'm, I'm chasing him.